Good day, folks, and welcome back. So in this video, we're doing a bit of belated gardening. Two weeks in the spring now. A little bit, bit of a late start, but uh, better late than never. So for you who have been following me from my earlier videos, my channel is not all about camping, fishing, and uh, outdoor adventures, as you would have seen in the recent videos. I used to make uh, made quite a lot of uh, gardening and uh, videos. Is basically uh, my aim is just to live as subsistently as possible uh, not have to rely on too many uh, store-bought produce so uh, <laughs> despite how this looks here this is the remnants of a once thriving vegetable garden until meet the menace this menace came along here so for you who uh, have met this is Bundy she's uh, the youngest member of our family and also the biggest pain in the butt uh, going on two Two years now, eh, Bundy? Yeah, and, and previously, um, this garden bit, what I had to do was uh, fence it off, but uh, the fencing that I made wasn't heavy duty enough, it was this stuff here, and she managed to destroy it, get into the garden bed, and dig some extra holes where they shouldn't be. Pretty much ripped up all my veggies. Also leaving um, pleasant bundi surprises. So what we're going to do today is fill this up with a bit of soil, um, get some veggies in here and also put in a much heavier duty fence using uh, a few of these uh, garden pickets which are steel galvanized so um, I should have powder coated with white rust and some proper chicken wire. And this should do the job keeping um, Little Miss Menace out of the way. Okay. Are you going to give me a hand, hey, Wendy? Are you going to help? Hey? Are you going to help? Or are you going to be the supervisor? All right. So as for now, it's a bit of work ahead. I'm going to get to it, and uh, we'll check back in when it's all done. So we've finished securing off this garden bed and uh, I'll bring in for a close up just to see the end result. Yeah, so with these um, steel garden pickets, definitely a lot more heavy duty along with this chicken wire. So uh, hopefully Bundy won't be able to um, destroy it as quickly as she did on the other one. Let's go for that final walk around, make sure there it's all good. And with the door, I just used the same old frame, but instead of having um, the mesh, I've got these boards. That should last for a bit of time. All this needs is a lick of paint. Okay, so let's go inside. Yeah, it's got a fresh um, layer of garden mix on it. Just 
let that settle down for a bit and then uh, now all we, all we need is uh, some seedlings and get our veggie patch started so I'm off to the nursery now to uh, grab a bunch of seedlings and uh, we'll check back in when I've got them all in the ground I think they should do it. Your tongue. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> it's talking a lot before. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't like you. you Cocky know want a biscuit? Hello. 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 Was that it saying hello to you? Yeah, say? yeah, he just said hello. Oh. Wait. Hello? Can you say how's it going? Hey? Hey's hello? Hey buddy. High five. Give us a high five. Yeah. High five. Punch it, punch it. Cocky want a biscuit? No? Never? Biscuit? Hello? 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 Yeah, yeah. Hello? Hello? We're going now. Hello? I'm going. Bye. I want to hear it say come right back. Bye. Hello? Bye bye. Righto, so we've procured a good bunch of seedlings to start us off. Just give you a close up on uh, what we've got here. Yep, so there's a couple of chili plants, there's a Thai and I don't know what this one is. From Brazil. Yeah. Just give us a bit of a spicy kick to uh, some of my recipes. Uh, some various chives, all these various herbs like uh, thyme, sage. A bit of oregano, that's about chimichurri, some parsley, and uh, a couple of tomato plants, along with some silver beet. Now, normally I, I grow these from seed, but um, being that we're off to a very late start this year, thought I'd cheat. So, um, these I should be able to eat these in about a couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, there's the more you cut them, the more foliage it produces. Yeah, so that should set me back quite nicely. So, as for now, we have is a, a virgin patch of soil it's gonna plot where everything's gonna grow and uh, plan it out alrighty yeah so um got my leafy greens there just for a bit of easy picking easy access um, this is where the coriander is gonna be placed um, the parsley is just in that corner they grow side by side now with these Asian um, chives what I'm gonna do with them is they're gonna act as a barrier and I'm going to have them all along the edges. I'll just break that up, spread it out, and then they will produce big bushy bunches of chives. So they'll just branch out and just sprout new new sprouts. And the idea of this is um, these keep all the pests away. So uh, yeah, like your slugs and your caterpillars, they don't really like this because it's very, uh, well, in theory anyway. And, uh, and I've been told that it works. So um, that's the plan for it. And they're also quite tasty as well. And uh, along with the other herbs are, so that's some shiso, that grows into a nice tall plant. That would just be there in the middle as a feature. Um, sage and your thyme, they'll grow side by side there. What I plan for these chilies, I'm going to be actually growing them in pots, but on this garden bed. So um, they can be like a low maintenance where I, I won't need much water because the roots will actually go grow through the pots and uh, spread into the garden bed and just over there will be the two tomato plants the oregano will be a bed growing along beside them because they accompany each other quite well in that corner I've got that spiky Vietnamese coriander that can stay 
and um, this is a cucumber, a Lebanese cucumber. <laughs> Hopefully, um, because uh, this fencing is going to act like a natural trellis, and um, I should be able to get some good results this year um, without having to maintain them too much and uh, hopefully the pests don't come around as well so uh, we'll start planning and I'll show you what we'll do next alrighty let's start it off with um, the silver beet so what I'm going to do is just level this out a little bit okay so we'll start with the first one here just dig a little hole just enough to um, when we unpot the plant and what I've got here is, um, this is just some um, pelletized blood and bone meal. It's called Dynamic Lifter. This is um, just an organic fertilizer. Put a bit of that into um, that hole there. Just pop out the plant. So you see the, the roots have uh, developed and this is a very well established plant there. And once that gets into the ground, gets in contact with that fertilizer, it's really gonna take off. And then we'll just fill it in. Because of the recent rain we've got, the ground is quite nice and moist. So I'm not gonna to be too worried about watering it, but I will give it a water once we've completed it all. So that's where the first one's gonna go. And uh, I'll continue with the next two. With this um, silver beet, or chard, whatever you want to call it. It's um, a very low maintenance plant and it, develop, and it produces all year round so it's very good and it's good for you as well so that's the plus side. And what you want to do is really compact it down just um, to make sure there's no air pockets underneath where the roots are because um, that can contribute to a lot of the root rot that you get when there's too much moisture and the air is not compact yeah, so that's okay. So these bad boys are good to go. In about a couple of weeks, I should be getting my first harvest from them. Okay, so next up, let's get this coriander going. Now I'm going to move this back from this wall just a bit because I plan to have the chives growing all around. And uh, we'll just leave this board here just to indicate a barrier. All right, perfect sign of a healthy garden bed. You've got lovely earthworms like this, just wriggling around. Now this bait is awesome for redfin perch or freshwater fish, um, as you would have seen in an earlier video. I'll just pop that in there, all righty. Let's get some more dynamic lifter in there. And in goes this coriander. Okay, <laughs> Daggy, so I'm just gonna keep going with the rest of these and we'll check back in once everything's in the ground and um, we'll give you the final walkthrough of the, the garden. Okay, okay, folks. So all the seedlings are in the ground. Just give you a quick um, close-up on um, how they look. Uh, yep. So as you can see, I've got the chive there all along the border, and um, that's going to spread. The various herbs all in the ground there, evenly spaced out and segregated. It's just that they don't intermingle with each other, and uh, this makes it easier for picking at later stage and maintaining them as well. And then just down there, you've got your Silver beet, coriander, the chilies, and I'll bring you over here to my two cucumber plants. So when they um, take off, 
this fence would be like a trellis. So over there, that's your two tomato plants and the oregano is just there. And that's uh, intended to spread all over this garden bed, just on that side there. And that's gonna be the main ingredient for our future upcoming chimichurri. So for now folks, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Uh, just hope you enjoyed it. A bit of an insight on uh, what I do other than fishing. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the channel is not all about outdoor adventures and fishing. Uh, yeah, as it, um, the name suggests, it is the food alchemist. And uh, these veggies and herbs are intended to be to supplement my uh, upcoming recipes and catch cooks. So um, I'm going to make a follow-up video just uh, to show you guys the, the progress on the garden. Fingers crossed we don't get no pest and uh, we have a good harvest this year. So once again folks, hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one, bye for now.